I am P. Sujata, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Economics, ADM College for Women, Nagapatnam. Uh, now, uh, my topic is Human Resource Management. Uh, first, to discuss about what is Human Resource Management uh, and uh, what is Human Resource Development. What is the difference between Human Resource Management and the Human Resource Development? And uh, then, what is a component of Human Resource Development? Uh, what is health and uh, education uh, is important to the human resource development. First, to explain about what is human resource management. A human resource management is the strategic approach to managing an organization's most valuable assets, its people. It involves the recruitment, selection, training, development, compensation and the retention of employees as well as managing their performance and ensuring compliance with the labor laws and the regulations. So what is human resource development? So human resource development is nothing but it is a process of improving knowledge, skill, education and ability of an organization employees. It encompasses a various aspects such as training, career development and organizational improvement. The effective human resource development is a vital for enhancing employee performance and achieving business goal. And then at the same time, uh, there are various components aims to enhancing the knowledge, skill and ability attributes of individuals within an organization. Uh, so uh, now to explain the difference between what is human resource management and a human resource development. First, to focus on human resource management, it is uh, primarily concerned with the administrative and operational aspect of managing human resources within an organization. Uh, this include the tasks such as recruitment, selection, compensation, performance management, employee relations, and ensuring compliance with employees' law and regulation. Uh, next, what is human resource development? Uh, the human resource development focused on developing and encouraging the human capital within an organization. Uh, this involves the activities aimed at improving the employee's knowledge, skill, ability and attributes to enhance their performance and the potential for growth. The human resource development encompasses training and the development, career planning, performance appraisal, organization development and the learning initiatives. Uh, next uh, difference of uh, primary functions of uh, human resource management is uh, recruitment and selection, compensation and benefits, performance management, employee relations and the compliances. So whereas the human resource development, its uh, primary function is training and development of the employees, career planning, uh, organization development, performance uh, appraisal, learning initiatives. So these are the primary functions of human resource development. So it's uh, times related to the human resource management, it's typically operates with the short term perspectives, addressing immediate operational needs such as filling vacancies, managing employee performance and handling day-to-day -day human related uh, issues. Uh, next, whereas the human resource development uh, takes a long term process because it focuses on building the capabilities and the potential of employees over time. So the human resource development activities are uh, strategic in nature and it's aimed to develop the skilled and motivated workforce that can adapt to change and uh, contribute to the organization. Uh, next one aspect of human resource uh, management is measurement and evaluation system to be followed. Uh, it's a efficiency matrix, uh, for example, uh, turnover rate, time to filled vacancies and compliance. So these are the uh, efficiency muscles are followed in the human resource management. Uh, next to the human resource development uh, to follow the uh, effectiveness measure, 
uh, metrics that are employee satisfaction, uh, training impact, career advancements. So these are the aspect to evaluate the human resource development. Uh, next aspect is relationship to strategies. Uh, the human resource management closely aligns with the organizational strategies. Uh, working to ensure that human resources are effectively deployed to the support the achievement of strategic objectives. The human resource management strategies may include workforce planning, talent management and uh, compensation strategies aligned with the organization goal. Uh, the human resource development contribute to the organization strategy by developing and uh, capabilities and uh, compensations of employees to meet current and uh, future business needs. So the human resource development initiatives support organizational goals by fostering a culture of learning, innovation and uh, continuous improvement. Okay, then what is the primary goal of human resource development? The primary goal is to effectively manage human resources to achieve organization objectives. So it's often seen as the strategic function that aligns human resources with the overall achievement of the organization. Whereas the primary goal of to the human resource development to develop skilled, motivated workforce for a long-term organizational success. So uh, it emphasizes continuous learning, career development and creating a supporting work. So these are the difference between human resource management and a human resource development. So our uh, specific topic is what is human resource development component and uh, wh what are the uh, health and education is related to human resource development. What is the need and the importance for health and education to the human resource development? First to discuss about what are the different components related to the human resource development. First one is training and development, performance management, career development, success and planning, employee engagement, organizational development, learning and uh, knowledge management, workforce planning and uh, talent management. So one by one to explain the component of human resource development. First one component training and uh, development. So what is training and development? So it is a uh, one of the component that involves strategic uh, systematic learning activities designed to en enhance the employee's skill, knowledge, and the competences related to the current or future role within the organization. So training and development program may include uh, orientation for few years, job specific skill development, leadership training and professional development opportunities. Uh, next one important component is performance management. So what is performance management? So it involves the process and system used to measure, evaluate and improve the employee's performance. So how to improve the employee performance? It includes setting the performance goals, providing feedback, conducting performance appraisal and identify areas for improvement or development. So this is the component for performance management. And the more important component is career development. So what is career development? So it is one of the component helping employees plan and manage their career, careers uh, within the organization. So these components include activities such as career counseling, skill assessment, identifying career path and providing growth opportunities and success and planning. So what is success and planning? So success and planning it involves identifying and developing the potential successor. So it's for a key position within the organization. 
is it's uh, the success in planning to ensure the smooth transition of leadership and a critical role in the event of retirement or other personal changes so next one component is employee engagement so how to uh, to uh, it's the one of the main component because uh, its initiatives are aimed at creating a positive work environment where employees are motivated committed and emotionally invested in their work and the organization strategies for employee engagement may include recognition uh, programs feedback mechanism uh, team building activities and opportunities for involvement in our decision making process so it is one of the component for employee engagement in human resource development and next one component is a very very important component organizational development so because the human resource development is mostly concentrated on the organizational development so it is focused on enhancing the effectiveness and the performance of the organization as a whole so it involves interventions of uh, aimed at improving processes structures cultures and a system to support the achievement of strategic objectives and foster the continuous improvement so next one is uh, learning and uh, knowledge management so it is uh, nowadays it is uh, more important to the knowledge management because it involve uh, creating and maintaining system and the processes to capture share and leverage the knowledge and expertise within the organization so this may include establishing learning platforms uh, communities of practices and then next to the knowledge sharing initiatives to facilitate continuous learning and uh, innovations so while so our uh, next component is workforce planning and uh, talent management the workforce planning and the talent management it involve uh, the uh, strategic activities uh, it's aimed to uh, ensuring that the organization has a right talent in the right role at the right time so the organization ensure has the right talent in the right role at the right time so it include forecasting future workforce needs uh, recruiting and uh, retaining the top talent and the developing strategies to address skills gaps and uh, talent shortages so these components are integrating effectively so the above components are integrated effectively the organization can create a culture of learning and development that supports employee growth enhance organizational performance and foster a competitive advantages in the marketplace so next to discuss about oh, what is the human resource uh, development is related to the health uh, it's what the health is uh, refers to the overall well being of the individual within an organization the concept of health in human resource development uh, it encompasses various dimensions it including physical mental and emotional well being so what are the needs of health the health is very important to the human resource development so what is the need uh, it's explained in various heads one is a physical health mental and emotional well being work life balance skill development for health related role wellness programs and uh, initiatives so first to discuss about the physical health so the physical health in human resource development is refers to the state on individual body and ability to perform daily tasks effectively 
which involve the aspect of fitness, nutrition and the absence of physical ailments and discomforts. So it is very important. Uh, it is related to human resource development. The physical health may include wellness program, fitness training, health screening and activities that promote the healthy lifestyle. So this focus helps employees to maintain good physical health, uh, reduce the risk of work related injuries and uh, illnesses. The next one is a mental and emotional health. Now the need because uh, it is pertinent to an individual psychological well-being include the aspect of stress management, uh, resilience and the emotional intelligence. Uh, the human resource development program addressing this mental and emotional health focus on creating a supportive work environment. The training session, workshops and counseling survey services may be offered to help employees to manage our stress, building resilience and develop emotional intelligence so contributing to a positive workplace culture. Next one of the needs of health is work-life balance. So it is referred to the uh, equilibrium between professional responsibilities and uh, our personal life. So the ensuring that employee have a time for family, pleasures and self-care. So the human resource development can support the work-life balance by promoting flexible work arrangements, setting realistic workload expectations and providing resources to help employees to manage their time effectively. These contributions to improve the overall well-being. Skill development for health related roles. The skill development uh, it's also is one of the need because uh, the health related role in human resource development involve the training employees in roles directly related to health and well-being uh, such as first, uh, first aid uh, responders or safety officers. Uh, the human resource development ensure that employees in health related role have the necessary skill and the knowledge to perform their duties effectively. So this includes providing training on safety protocols, emergency response and the health related regulations. Uh, last one is the wellness programs and initiatives. So the illness programs in human resource development encompass a range of initiatives aims at promoting holistic well-being. It includes uh, fitness challenges, nutrition programs and uh, mental health work workshops. So the human resource development designs and implements wellness programs to enhance employee health, boost moral and create a positive workplace culture. So this program contributes to the overall development and well-being of individuals within the organization. So in summary, the health is very very important in human resource development. Uh, it is beyond mere absence of illness to extend the holistic well-being of employee by addressing physical, mental and emotional health through the various programs and initiatives, human resource development contributes to the creation of healthy, supportive and productive work environments. This in turn, the boosts the development of individuals and enhance the overall success of the 
organization. So, what is the need? So, health is uh, it's very very important. What is the need for incorporating health in human resource development? The employee well-being and moral, uh, improved productivity and the performance. So, the reducing the absenteeism and the presenteeism, talent attraction and the retention, safety and risk management, enhanced employee engagement, adaptability and resilience positive organizational culture, compliance with the legal and the ethical standards and the cost saving of the organization. The need for incorporating health in HRM, HRD is essential for creating the work environment that prioritizes the well-being of employees. So here are some keys need for health in human resource development. Employees well-being and moral. The health and human resource development foster a positive work environment that contributes to the overall well-being and the moral of employees. It shows that the organization values in employees' health lead to increase their job satisfactions and their commitments. Uh, next to the health well, well, well healthy person to improve the productivity and the performance because the healthy employees are more likely to be productive and perform at their best. So the human resource development initiative focused on health such as the wellness programs and the stress management training can enhance employee performance leads to increase the overall productivity. And uh, the health is reducing the absenteeism and the presenteeism because the health related human resource development program can help to reduce the absenteeism. It means the employee being absent from work and the presenteeism is nothing but the employee working while not feeling well. So this result is a more consistent and uh, effective works workforce. Talent attraction and the retention. So the organization that prioritizes the employee's health through human resource development initiatives are more likely to attract the top talents. Additionally, a commitment to employees' well-being can contribute to higher retention rate, reducing the cost associated with the turnovers. Uh, is the next one of the uh, human resource development play a critical role in uh, educating employees about safety protocols, uh, emergency procedures and the workplace as well. So these ensure a safe and healthy work environment reducing the risk of accident and injuries. Enhance the employee engagement. The human resource development programs that address health contribute to the positive workspace culture, boosting the employee engagement. So the engaged employees are more likely to invest in their work and the success of the organization. Adaptability and the resilience. So health is focused uh, our human resource initiatives such as the stress management training and the resilience building program help employees cope with the challenge, challenges and a change in the workspace. So this enhance the organization overall adaptability and the resilience. Our next one is the positive organizational culture. Uh, the is uh, incorporating health in human resource development contribute to the development of positive organizational culture. So this includes promoting work-life balances, emphasizing employees well-being and encouraging a supportive atmosphere. Uh, next last one is the compliance with the legal and ethical standards. 
human resource development ensure that the organization are comply with the legal and ethical standard related to the human employees health because it is involved in providing necessary training resources and support to meet legal requirements and ethical con consideration in health and safety uh, the cost savings for the organization so it addressing health need through human resource development initiatives can result in cost saving for organization the healthy employees are less likely to incur health care cost so it associated with illness and uh, preventive measures can reduce the financial burdens so it's related to the absenteeism and uh, turnover so in i conclude that the uh, health into human resource development it just uh, it's not just a matter of ethical responsibility because it's but it's critical for organization success so addressing the health needs for employees human resource development contributes the development of the uh, thriving uh, enhanced workplace or force and establishes a foundation for long term organizational sustainability uh, what is the health related component in human resource development and uh, the educational component in health uh, human resource development uh, the first one is the physical well being program mental and emotional support workplace safety initiatives so the physical work for work uh, well being programs that are wellness uh, workshop fitness challenges health uh, screening preventive health campaigns uh, so uh, physical well, uh, well being being is a wellness workshop to conduct uh, workshop is on nutrition fitness and healthy uh, lifestyle choices fitness challenges is organizing fitness activities to promote physical well being health screening at provide regular health checkup for employees preventive health campaigns uh, on preventive health measures so these are the physical health being programs and next one is mental and emotional support uh, that are the stress management training employees assistance program mental health awareness campaign and counseling services so the stress management training to offer programs to equip employee with the stress coping mechanisms uh, employees assistance program to provide counseling services and support for mental health mental health awareness campaign uh, raise the awareness about the mental health issues and the resources counseling services establish accessible counseling services for employees so these are the mental and emotional support uh, health component in human resource development uh, third one is the work safe workplace safety initiatives uh, that are safe safety protocols training emergency response trials aeromedics training health and safety compliances safety protocol training it include educate the employees and workplace safety measures uh, emergency response trials to conduct trials to ensure preparedness of emergencies uh, aeromedics training to promote uh, aeromedics practices to enhance physical well being health and safety compliance to ensure compliance with health and safety regulation uh, fourth one program is the uh, employee well being program and uh, the health and education integration the employees well being program it's our work life balance initiatives uh, flexible work arrangement health focused benefits mental health support programs so what is the health uh, life balance initiatives it's implement policies supporting work life balances 
uh, oh, flexible work uh, arrangements to provide options for flexible work schedules. Uh, so health focus benefits offer health related benefits uh, like uh, gym membership or uh, wellness initiatives. Mental health support programs uh, to introduce the programs addressing uh, mental health challenges. So, how to the health is and education integration? It means uh, it's integrating wellness and uh, learning uh, programs, cross functional initiatives, learning opportunities focus on health, employee health and educational uh, committees. So, uh, it integrates wellness and the learning program. It means combine health and education initiatives for holistic development. Uh, cross functional initiative collaborate with the health and education team for integrated programs. Learning opportunities focus on health to develop uh, learning content related to the health topic. Employees health and educational committees to oversee the integrated initiatives. So next one. Uh, how the education component is related in human resource development. So education is very very important uh, that are uh, training and development program, career development initiative, training and uh, workshops. So the training and the development programs includes skill enhancement program, lifelong learning initiative, professional development programs, continuous learning strategies. The skill development programs uh, is offered to enhance the employee's skill. Uh, lifelong learning initiative uh, to encourage continuous learning throughout the employee's careers. Professional development programs to provide opportunities for career growth and development. The continuous learning strategies to implement strategies for ongoing knowledge acquisition. So next one component is career development initiative. It includes career counseling program, mentoring and coaching, educational guidance. The career counseling program to provide counseling services for career planning, uh, mentoring and coaching to facilitate mentorship program for professional guidance. Next, uh, educational guidance to offer support for educational pursuit and uh, professional certifications. Next one component is training and uh, workshop. It's related to job specific training, workshops and seminars, learning event on new technologies, Skill building workshops. So, job specific training is provide training uh, tailored to specific job role. So, it is a job specific training. To conducting interactive session for skill development through workshops and seminars. Uh, next is to stay up, updating on emerging technologies and industrial trends to learning even on new technologies. Skill building workshops is focus on enhance specific skill related uh, relevant to the job. So the fourth one is the fourth one need for education component to the human resource development is educational resources and tools learning environment enhancement. So the educational research and the tools it include access to learning materials, online educational resources, technology integration for learning and uh, learning management system. It is a LMS. As, as uh, access to learning material, it ensure the easy access to the educational materials. Next, uh, online educational resource is uh, it's, uh, it's more number of resources are available uh, because it's provide digital resources for remote, remote or flexible learning. 
technological integration for learning is a leverage technology for effective learning experiences so last but not least the learning management system is very very important for educational resources it implements system for organizing and tracking the learning activities so the last one is the learning environment enhancement so how to uh, the learning environment enhancement it's a supportive learning culture inclusive educational practices as accessible educational uh, facilities so the supportive learning cultures foster on environment and hence i encourage learning and growth inclusive educational practice to promote inclusively and diversity in educational opportunities as accessible educational facilities it ensure the physical and the virtual spaces are accessible for learning so these uh, detailed components of health and education can uh, there is how human resource development to create a comprehensive employee development framework the integration of these components are contribute to the work state that uh, uh, prioritize the well being and the continuous growth of the employees thank you thank you so much